So, hi y'all. This is Uniquely Made Jessica. Welcome to my channel. And this channel is dedicated to any and everything on a budget. Whether that's home stuff, beauty, like stuff around the house, natural hair, whatever, fashion. If it's anything affordable, most likely I'm down for getting it. And that doesn't mean you don't have to splurge, but... Sometimes we just want to find stuff on the low. So if this is the channel for you, like, rate, and subscribe, share the video, and everything like that. And we're back with another video about some empties. And this is products I accumulated from like the beginning of January until now. And this is the May of 4. So if you want to see what I got, please stay tuned. So I'm back and I have not one bag and if you see the Aldi bag you already know what's going down not one bag two so you already know I got a lot of stuff to talk about some of this stuff I didn't finish I just some of this I probably didn't like for real so they're in the bag for the same reason or stuff that I thought I'd be kind of weird on me, so that's that. So this might be a very long video. Hopefully no more than like an hour. Hopefully not no more than an hour, but we shall see. So the first item I'm gonna grab is this candle from Aldi and it's just the Huntington Home Limoncello Creme Brulee candle. And it sounds empty because it is. And I literally scraped it out because I should have took a picture of it, but I scraped it out because it smells really good. It's like smells like lemon frosting or like to me like fruit loops. But the thing is, it burns so weird. Like I don't like the way this candle burns. So if you do see this candle in Aldi, just be aware this does not burn that well at all. So I have a wax melter so what I ended up doing is scooping out all of the wax and I've been using it as like a wax melt. When I recommend this candle I like the way it smells but because of the function and how it does not burn right I wouldn't feel like recommending this to you. It smells good but the way it burns sucks which eh, it is what it is. So and that candle's from Aldi by the way. The next product that I have for this thing is another candle from Aldi. This is the Honey's and Hall Citron and Cilantro. This one smells really good too. This doesn't give you like icing like So on the second bag, just decided to fall over and roll everything out. So I had to pick some stuff up. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Well, I was really interrupted by my Aldi bag. This isn't like sweet, like this isn't like this one. This is giving you like food, like cupcakes and stuff like that. This is not the same as this. This is like it's still citrus smelling but it has a bit more freshness to it so different kind of vibes would i get this one again yeah i think they still have some of these at aldi but i just didn't buy any more candles because most of the candles that they had i really didn't want or need at that moment so i just didn't get any and i got some of this stuff in this Publix bag because there are bad products that I don't want to spill it everywhere. The first thing I got is this Dandy Body Works Aromatherapy Awakening Sun. And this has bergamot, neroli, and cedarwood. And I have a video on this, so if you just look down my, um, I think I have like a body care playlist. You can you find it. And I like the way this smells. This is going to be like a good scent to wake you up in the morning. And it's floral. Not too florally. No, so I still have the lotion in this. I used up the bath, the um, shower gel, like super quick. So I don't know if they still have this. They might. I would still get this again. The second one I got is this Suave Exfoliate Coffee and Coconut 
body wash. It's still a little bit left, but I have to put some water in it, so I'm like, you know what, forget it. But I would definitely get this again. I don't really smell as much coconut, but I do like the coffee smell. The coffee smell was really good. This isn't like a super strong exfoliator, so I just use this strictly as a body wash. But I feel like this smells really good, and you know Suave is like super affordable, so I would definitely get this again. And the next product I got is this Dr. Till's Shea Sugar Scrub, and it has shea butter and almond oil, and as you can see, completely gone. It smells really good, and whatever. I would definitely get this again. I actually have another um, Dr. Till's Scrub in my... um in my bathroom and tell me if I'm wrong because I don't shop at Target that often but at Target I got uh, I got a scrub from Target that I have in my bathroom and it's like a citrus scent but it's a salt scrub but I saw something similar to that citrus scrub at Walmart and it's sugar so is it a situation where Walmart sells the sugar scrubs and Target sells the salt scrubs I feel like the salt scrubs scrub a little bit better than the sugar ones, in my opinion. But I feel like with Dr. Tills, you can't go wrong. And I like this scrub too, so once I run out of that salt scrub and the citrus one, my chef's kiss, it smells really good. The scent stays on your skin too, kind of like how this one does. It smells really good. And it's like only like... $4.99, $5.99, something around that range. So it's not expensive at all. So any Dr. Tills products, it's a hit. You can't go wrong with it. The next product I got is this Febreze Air Peach Limited Edition like Air Freshener. And this smells really good. I don't think it's much in here enough. Barely in here enough. So I probably won't be able to smell it. But this smells really good, like a fresh like juicy peach i don't feel like it's overly sweet but this smells really good it is good for like the spring and summertime because girl the peaches are out whether you like georgia peaches or you from alabama like me and you like the chilton county peaches no matter this smells really good so if you could get your hands on this get it i think i got this at walmart but this smells really good. I would really, you know, recommend it. The next product I have is a box. And it's from Yardley. And it's the oatmeal and almond soap. And honestly, this is one of my favorite soaps. If not my favorite soap, just period. And it's Hillsu's Dry Skin and Jiggly Exfoliates. So, um, This is really good. It's natural. I think a pack of these, like a three pack of these, is like two forty seven or something like that. So super affordable. They got other scents, but I haven't tried any other scents. I always just get this one. Some people might think it's a tad bit dry on your skin after you bathe, but normally I cleanse my body with the bar soap and then follow with a shower gel, so that doesn't really matter. But you don't always see me use yard because in my personal opinion, it's just that good. The next product, I haven't used it in like a couple of years, but I figured it's time for me to throw it away. And this is the Mofa Jane hair coloring material. And this is like hair paint wax. And this is how it looks. And it smells like kind of strong, like like a men's hair product or gel or something. And what color is this? Um, oh, well, probably have me get rid of it anyway because it says the, um, for 24 months. And like I said, I had this for like two years. Because actually, you know what's funny? Me trying this on a picture on Facebook actually popped up in my story archives from two years ago so yeah i know for a fact i've had this for two years and the color is cute it's kind of like a magenta pinkish red kind of color the only thing is 
this transfers all over your clothes. Like, even if your clothes are dry, not your clothes are dry, even if your hair is dry, it was just like, I would have like kind of pinkish red stuff all on my clothes and I don't like that. So the color was cute, but the color transferred everywhere and it laid. So if you want to try hair pink, I wouldn't try this one. I haven't tried the as I, yes I have. I have tried the as I, I would try like the as I am, the ORS and stuff like that if you want to do a temporary hair color but this one i don't i don't really like it that much the color is cute but everything else is worth it the next thing for me to go like this i got is the nivea essentially enriched 48 hour um lotion and it has almond oil in it and i forgot who yeah, I think Shauna J mentioned this lotion. This might have been the one. And I think I say makeup Shayla mentioned this on an Instagram story. I don't really remember exactly who. Cause I feel like a lot of people talk about this lotion, but this is good. Like it's good, it's creamy, it actually like moisturizes your skin. So I feel like my skin be like dry as hell. Excuse me. So this is really good. This is also very affordable. Make sure you get the one like this in the all blue bottle. But yeah, I would actually get this again. But I actually need to run through all my other body butters and shea butters and stuff. But and this is for dry to very dry skin. So if you ain't trying to look like a crocodile or alligator. Definitely, you know, cop this. The next product that I have is this Unicurl Dragon Fruit Curl Fantasy Clear Styling Gel. It's like a tad bit, like a very little bit of here left. I like this gel. It mixes well with certain products, but I don't know if I would get this again. I mean, it's straight. The, the, um, the ingredients in this is actually pretty decent and whatever. It's just... I have a decent amount of gels in my stash and honestly I feel like my favorite gels I've been using so far are the um, main choice gels like the pearly braided out blades, the one from the Protoculture line and the 24 karat gold gel. I feel like main choice it just got some good gels. So this one is cute. I like it. I'm just not convinced I'll actually get this again. And this is an 8 ounce. And it actually lasted me about almost a year. So I did good with this. But I don't know. If it's on sale like I got this one on sale. Maybe. But so far I don't know. The next product I have is this lemon buttercream candle. And y'all already know how I feel about the lemon buttercream candles. Smell very similar to the lemon cello creme brulee. They're like little, this is like little sister big cousin, but smells good. I got one directly across from me. I will always buy this particular scent, so no questions asked. I would definitely get this one again. The next product, I got this from Walmart like a while back, and this is the Suye, Suye Replenishing Cucumber Mist, and it's like for your face. I didn't finish it. It was just, I've had this for like two, three years. And I figured if I'm not using it like that, I probably just do not care for it like that. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I just didn't reach for it. It's since, like I said, I had it for like some years. I figured it probably wouldn't be the safest to just continue to spray this on my face. So I just poured it out. I don't even know if they still sell this. I got this from like the clearance section or something like that. Would I get this again? Eh, probably not. So that's that. And I'm actually trying to step up my skincare. So probably definitely not. So next product is another candle. I talked about this in a video run. And I got this from Ross. And this is from Grace and Beauty. One hot hearted tobacco. Ooh. And you would think this would be too like offensive. But it's really not. My mom didn't like this. But I feel like it was just like really warm. I still got some of the sweetness or whatever. 
and it wasn't too like offensive or animalic because I know some people say ooh can be a little bit much extinct to them but I like this the only thing about Kale was from Ross once you see it and you like it, you gotta get it because you don't know if you'll ever see this candle again. So I don't know if I'll ever see this again. If I'll see it again, I would definitely get it again. But you just never know where Ross candle. So I definitely would get that one again. Um, yeah. Rest of these are hair products. Let me get some stuff out of the way and I'll be right back. Okay, so we almost at the bottom of the first bag. First product I got is this Honey's Handmade. This is from the Melba's Kitchen Collection. So this is the coconut and apple curl glaze. And I've got like very little of it left. Like that's all that was left. And I've had this for like close to two years. So, you know, the ingredients in Honey's Handmade is very natural. Because this has aloe gel, aloe juice, coconut butter, a whole book, apple seed oil, raw glycerin, and fragrance. So, if you're like, because of the fact that it has glycerin in it, the glycerin is pretty much like it's going to pull all the moisture out from the air and stuff. Um, I don't know if you'll be safe using this during the summertime. Because spring and summer, because your hair will frizz. I actually did like this glaze. I haven't bought anything from Honey's Handmade in almost a year because I'm just trying to get through all my stuff. And sometimes that quality be kind of iffy on certain things. So that's one thing. But if that happens on sale again, I would definitely get it because I actually do like this glaze and it smells like really good. The other products that I got. I got this main crush unicorn curls and I'm down to the last bit but I don't know if this little bit might be some good because the expiration date is like nine months and these are like really natural products and I have aromatic stuff too and this also has natural products the thing is this was just okay it wasn't the most hydrating on my hair and I felt like my styles was just decent but I wouldn't probably get this honestly I don't think I would get anything from main crush at least not the products that I got because honestly I'm just not that impressed they were cute they got good products and um, they also have aerobatic products so if you want to try it on the low or try it on sale just try it anyway and you don't want to mix up your own aerobatic products knock yourself out but I wasn't at least when me keep on using them and using them I was that impressed I probably wouldn't get this one again next thing I got is also from the first Bell's Kitchen collection this is from Honey's Handmade this is the Blackberry Doobie I'm sorry to go Doobie Hair Custard and this is how it looks I had this one around the same time as the Curl Glaze I'm gonna say it's very little in here you gotta have to get used to some of the consistency of honey's handmade products because the consistency isn't always the best i actually did like that um hair custard and i'm not a custard girl like i don't, I don't like custards but that one's pretty cute i feel like the style was decent my hair felt really good i might get it again but I don't know. I really don't know. Next thing I got is this main choice Cheers Gelato. And I got it on clearance um, a couple of years ago. Like two, two and a half years ago. It is like a little bit left that I could use, but I have a whole new, I have a whole another one of these. This is one of the best gels I've ever used. I like the way it smells. And whatever and it says it's a cream strip and full protection I like the way it smells your hair is gonna feel moisturized your hair is gonna be like super defined main choice gels can be like super sticky so make sure you use a good amount of water 
and stuff and just be prepared for your hands to just feel sticky. I'm just, I ain't gonna lie to you, but I feel like main choice in my personal opinion, because I haven't tried some of the other gels, they got some of the best gels in my personal opinion. But yeah, I already got a second container of this, so most definitely we'll get it again. Next product is this Canvas Beauty Full Bloom Infinitely Deep Conditioner. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Like, I still have product in here. Like, you see how much I got in here? I used over half. I don't like the way it smells. This makes my hair feel like freaking straw. Like, this makes my hair feel so freaking dry. And the thing is, the shampoo that goes with this, the shampoo smells like bubblegum. The shampoo smells good. The shampoo leaves your hair freaking dry, too. So, no. No. If you do, if you want to get the shampoo, because I think they got like a set where you can kind of like test all the stuff together, see how you like it. Get the shampoo, but get the regular conditioner that's in the bottle. The regular conditioner that's in the bottle is a hell of a lot better than this. Moisturizes. I feel like it got, for my hair, got a decent amount of slip and everything. No, I would never buy this ever again. I probably will try to shampoo again, of course. I could do it like a clarifying kind of thing. If you follow up with a really moisturizing deep conditioner, like, their full bloom conditioner that comes in the bottle get that that one actually moisturizes your hair pretty well this no do not get that next thing i got is this honey's handmade this is 4c this is 4c collection and this is the purple sweet potato and peppermint whipped shampoo sis this is a cold wash <laughs> this is a cold wash this is not a shampoo and I'm not really a cold wash girl. And this is only how much I use. I had it for like a year. And some change. And honestly, like I said, I've had this for a year. I already know I'm not really going to be using this like that. And I actually was trying to clean through my natural hair products. And I already know I really don't care for this. So, no. If I want a cold wash and I'm not a cold wash girl... I honestly prefer the As I Am Coconut Clay Wash. Not clay wash. The Coconut Co Wash. Or if you want to do a clay wash, the Chocolate Kings and Curls, like Cocoa Cream, whatever, clay wash could be a better co wash than this. Because this is not a shampoo. This is not this is, this moisturizes your hair. Yeah, sure. This does not cleanse it. Your hair will still be feeling dirty. No, ma'am. Well, this line is discontinued anyway, from what I heard, so you won't be able to get this anyway, but no. No. Two more things in this one bag, and this is from the Pumpkin and Toffee Fall Hair Collection. I think I got this, like, fall of 2020, and this is the Pumpkin Spice and Toffee Curl Knob Custard. I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, it'll smell a little bit better, but I feel like it's starting to try to smell a little sour. I would say the ingredients in this are good. This was straight. This was okay. Like, the styles and stuff wasn't bad. It was cute, but I don't think I'll get this again. And the last product that's not quite empty, but it's in here. This is also from the Melba's Kitchen Collection. This is the Melba's Butter Pecan Curl Defining Hair Butter. Oh, let me show you how it's like before I open it. So this is how it looks. This still kind of smells like butter pecan ice cream. And then she, if you don't know, ooh. As you can tell, this product is hella watery. Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's watery. And I don't remember it being this water when I first tried it. I don't know. But I've had this for like, like I said, about 
two, a year or two, about two years at the max. I liked it. Clearly not enough to actually finish the whole thing, so. Would I get it again? Probably not. I feel like when Honey's Handmade, their quality issues was kind of iffy. But then again, I've been bumping them in like a year and whatever, so I can't really speak on it now. But if you was to go to Honey's Handmade, I like their deep conditioners. The stylers are kind of iffy. Um, I don't like their shampoos. Um, gels are straight. I actually always love new gels. I have, a, I have some oils from them that I use just to like take my hair down when I style it. So the oils are straight too. But I'm a prepare to dig through the second bag, so bear with me. So we are down that second bag. And the first product out of the second bag, this is the as I am restore and repair Jamaica Black Cast Oil Leave-In Conditioner. And I actually like, I don't think I've had any issues with the As I Am lines. None of the ones I've tried. So, I would definitely get this again. I feel like my hair felt moisturized. It wasn't dry. And you know, when you have a style and like you feel like your hair is like kind of dry before you put on your styler. It didn't feel like that. So, I would actually get that product again. And this is another As I Am product, and this is from the Long It Looks line. And this is a pomegranate and passion fruit grow, grow, bleh, grow yogurt leave in conditioner. And as you can see, this thing is dry. <laughs> like, I've used this all. And this smells really good. It's like a fruity, it's like a fruity smell. I think it's that pomegranate that passion fruit that smells really good. And I feel like this works just as well as this. And I got these close to the same time. But I like both of these. And I would recommend both of these. But like I said, I have no issue with um, as I am. I like them. Next product is the Maya Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. I just got another one of these at the Talia YG World Natural Hair Show. I felt like this did add a little strength to my hair without it feeling like too strengthened and I still got some moisture so yeah I definitely got another one of these. I actually got another one of these. I got the shampoo and I got the leave in. So yeah do that what you will. The next product I got is the Palmer's Cocoa, the Cocoa Butter Balm. And yeah, this will always be in my collection. Still smells good. I might not buy this every time I go to the store, and I might not be buying it anytime soon. Because if you see my Talia YG video, I have bought hella shea butters, and then I got the mini size of the Fenty Skin Butter Drop, which is good, by the way. I that little thing, twenty dollars, and I just been using it in my purse when my hands get dry. But that butter drop, do it does what it needs to do. It smells good. Like the smell of it isn't like oh my god, super fragrant, but it's like a light, slight tropical smell, and it just feels so good on the skin. That is Raji P. Henson got her body butter out, and it's called Salted in My Mother. Mwah. Chef's kiss, and it. I think it says it's um, vanilla and tuberose. Smells so good. And your body gonna be glistening. Your body gonna be soft. It's gonna be a hot girl summer. Have your legs out. Your skin popping. And just be more sure to be cute, girl. So, anyway. Next thing. I've already talked about this. The Yardley soap. As you can tell, I really love me some Yardley. So, Y'all already know how I feel about that. Next thing is this Cranberry Oso Mary Air Freshener by Glade. And it says it has hints of cranberries and champagne. So you can tell this is like a holiday edition one. And I think I got this either at Walmart. Yeah, I think I got this at Walmart. Back like the beginning of the year when I was getting rid of all this Christmas stuff. And this smelled really good. Like... 
can't really smell it much now because it's pretty much gone. But I like to smell like cranberries and champagne as like a bubbly touch to things. So this smell really good. If they come up with this again for the holidays, get it because I feel like that smells really good. Next thing I got, just a equate petroleum jelly. You know, it's like Vaseline. You always need some Vaseline. So, not much to explain about that. I'm always get it. The next product I got is this Nubian Heritage African Black Soap Body Lotion. It says it's detoxifying and balancing. I was first introduced to Nubian Heritage back in college. And most people ain't gonna know this anyway, but I went to college and I went to HBCU in Atlanta. And you know, if you're familiar with the West End area, I got this from the West End Mall. And I think it was like a stand or something, or like a store. I don't know. It's probably not even there no more. But um, they were selling these Nubian Heritage um, soaps and like lotions. The first one I ever tried was like the mango one. And the mango one is really good. This is good too. And the thing about Nubian Heritage, these are thick. Why do I say it like that? They are thick. Like, Thicker than cold grits, baby. Thick. So, you would literally have to like beat the lotion out when you get close to the bottom because it's that thick. But the thing is, it moisturizes your skin so good. And I think I got this from Amazon for like, you know, it was between $9.99 and like $11.99. One of those two. But if you have a sprouts in your area, you can get this from sprouts. But if you don't have a sprouts in your area, just go to Amazon or they might have this at a natural store, natural food store, or something like that. But you can definitely find this on Amazon. And they got like different ones. So when I get this again, yeah, most definitely. But I have to actually finish going through the stuff that I've got before I get another one. The next thing I got is this. I wish I was able to get the rest of this soap out. And this is the Soft Soap Gently Lavender Liquid Hand Soap Refill. And I got this from Dollar Tree. You know everything in Dollar Tree is like $125 now. So I was able to get this $125 and refill my little soap thing that I got from like Walmart for like $0.78. Cents. I was able to refill this for a while. And then I still got a it still got a little in there, but I think I didn't want to struggle to get it out. So, to me, hand soap is hand soap. You can't really go too wrong with it. I'm not really too picky when it comes to hand soap. Some of them are, like, really cute with, like, the scents and, like, the foaming and everything, but I really could care less. So, this is hypoallergenic for sensitive skin. So, if you do have sensitive skin... This will be good. This is, has 79% plant-based ingredients, paraben-free, <clears throat> and it's formulated without phthalates, vegan and dye-free, and it washes away bacteria. So if you're concerned about those things, I feel like this is good. And some soap typically makes good soaps anyway. So I don't get a chance to go to Dollar Tree that often, but if I was to go back, I would definitely get this. This is a lot cheaper. This is a lot cheaper than keep him to buy soap over and over and over and over again. So definitely we'll get that again. Next product is from the honey pot, and this is for your lady bits. And this is a sensitive foam and wash. I probably talked about this in previous videos, like empties videos, and I like this. Of course, I'm gonna keep getting it and whatever. I'm not really super, super picky about how, what goes down there because typically as long as I use like a sensitive wash or something like that or anything that's not like too sensitive or anything, I'm fine. But this is vegan. This is black owned. This has lavender, vinegar, and calendula, calendula, whatever. And this is like really good to clean your bits like when you take a shower, 
Please take a shower. Please. We you need to freshen up before your D appointments. Whenever. You're going to be watching that thing anyway. But I'm going to always buy these because these are good. They also have a regular version that's in an orange container. And they also have like a cucumber one. I don't know if the cucumber one's always available, but they also have a cucumber one that I've tried, which I like. I like them all, but if you just want to start off, get the sensitive one. So that's really good too. Next product is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Restful Moon. This is the nighttime version of the Awakening Sun. And this is, has patchouli, sandalwood, and vanilla. So it's like they kind of like calm you down and get you relaxed for the nighttime. This smells really good also. I might have to choose which smell I prefer better. I prefer this one. But I like all of them. And I still got the lotion in this as well. And I'm steady trying to work through all my body lotions. When I get this again, I probably would. Let me let me make a quiet. Let me put it Let me make a swipe. So I'm bad. And I didn't even finish this product. I just don't like it. And this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture and Twist Curly Mousse. And I've had this for a while. I've had this for like at least over a year. And you can see how much I've used. So I didn't even get to halfway. I, ugh, this is sticky. I don't like her. <laughs> I don't like her. And the thing is, it says it's for dry and dehydrated hair. And it has like pure honey, coconut oil, and shea butter. And it doesn't have like soap base, all this stuff. That's cute and all, but she leaves me dry. She they ain't be dry than a California raisin. No, ma'am. Like this leaves my hair like super dry. The definition is okay, it's cute, but no. And this is like six dollars or whatever, which is not a lot. But if you want to save a little bit more money. You can get the Lotta Body one. The Lotta Body Mousse is a lot better. And I'm talking about the original Lotta Body Mousse with the blue stuff in it. I don't know about the milk and honey one, but this trash. And the thing is, I, those, this was like my first Cream and Nature product I had bought in like years. Because I, I still like the Cream and Nature like shampoo, the Argyle oil one. And there's a couple of products from the Pure Honey line, like stylers, that I thought was actually really decent. I like, but no, ma'am. This is freaking trash. Into the trash you go. Okay. Next thing I got is this Frosted Vanilla. As you can tell, I burn my candles straight to hell. And I like this one. I think I will always get this vanilla because... I mean, I just like this vanilla candle. I mean, you can never go wrong with a vanilla candle unless they're like super cheap. And I got this from Aldi also, so yeah, I would definitely always get that. The next product I have is the Latin Spend by the Works like aromatherapy thing I got. And this is a tea tree and peppermint. My boyfriend thinks it smells a tad bit masculine when I like take a shower and be like, oh, it smells like a man been here. Ain't no man been in this part. But, um, I feel like it smells good. And whatever. I still got the lotion of this too. I like it. It's minty. It kind of clears up my nose a tad bit. It's not like a Dr. Bronner's like peppermint. It doesn't touch that peppermint, child. I like it. It's cool. It's straight. It's cute. Next, <laughs> next product I have, and I can smell it all the way right here, is this candle I got from Seed Fragrances. And I probably like link the video, and this is how much I use. And this is their mango butter um, candle, and I also have the mango um, butter oil. That smells so good. And I think their candles are like $6.99 or something like that. So if you're just interested in shopping seed fragrances, I actually recommend it. I got like three videos 
talking about seed and I just absolutely love their oils. That candle is good. I'm interested in their body butters. So I'm curious about that, but I recommend seed all the way. And plus the most affordable, like you can try the fragrance droughts for as low as $149. You can't really beat that. Of course, you can do like the roll on, and I like the roll on ones too. To me, the little drops have like a little thing that you can store the drops are so cute, but yeah. I definitely would get that candle again. The next thing I got is this cashmere glow spray from Madden Modern Works. I've had this for some years. And this is like one of my favorite fall scents, fall and winter scents. And it just smells so warm and sexy and ambient. Like, I really enjoy this. So, and this is one of Bad and Body Works retired scents. So, you're not going to really be able to catch this in the store unless you shop like semi annual sale and they bring back some of the um, fall fragrances. So, if you like warm scents like this, I would definitely recommend it. I really enjoy this. I've been loving this one for years. Like, literally years. Been loving it. The next thing that I got. These are Wild Growth Oils. The white one is the original. The yellow one is the light oil moisturizer. And I think you can mix it in like shampoo and stuff. Yeah, you can actually mix it in shampoo, whatever the yellow one. I like them both. Like, everybody knows how wild growth oil is. I feel like it's really good. The smell could be a tad bit off-putting to some people, but I'm used to the smell. Plus, the smell to me isn't all that bad. If I had to choose between the two, which one would I get? I feel like you should be getting the white one, but I feel like both do what it needs to do. Or whatever. I feel like my hair would be a lot longer if I wasn't just so reckless with it. So, do with that information what you will. But I actually do recommend Wild Growth Oil. I think it's really good. The next thing I'm pulling out is this Birchwood Sage. And this is kind of like a little, it smells a little bit more masculine. It's not like laundry clean, but I feel like men and women will really appreciate this scent. I really like it. If you see this in Aldi, get it. Because I feel like this actually smells really good. And as you can tell, I burn a lot of Aldi candles. And what do you know? More burnt Aldi candles. I uh, I got a, I got an issue, I got a problem. So these two are holiday cranberry, which is like the frosted cranberry, and that the Body Works. And this one is cereal milkshake, which smells really good. It smells like really sweet, milky, latonic. Girl, it smells like what you, you know, you're not really gonna be smelling milk. To me, this would smell like a milkshake or like what you think after you eat like fruit loops or like fruity pebbles and the milk will smell like this is what i envision that to smell like and it smells really good i actually have a cereal milkshake in my room right now that i'm gonna light whenever i get done with this video so yeah, I actually do like this stuff. The next product I have is the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. And I've had this one for a while too. That's like rose water. I actually like it. It's straight. But you can get a rose water mist from anywhere. So when I get them, I probably would. But since I've had that one for a while, I don't know if they still sell it. Y'all let me know. But I think... You can get like a rose water mist from like Mario Medesco. Um, who else? The Heritage Store. You can get one from them too, no smell. The next thing I got is this rose bud salve. 
And this is like seven dollars. And you can get this from Ulta and Sephora. I, I don't know if they sell this anthology, but you can definitely get this at Ulta and Sephora. And it's thick. It actually lasts on your lips for like a long time. I got something similar to that, but it's like the strawberry one that I just got during the um Sephora Savings event. Same price, like seven, eight dollars. So good. That's like my second one. So I definitely like that one. The next product I got is Jimmy Choo Illicit. And as you can tell, it's pretty much gone. I'm on my second bottle. And this is like a really sweet, like fragrance it's like a sweet sexy caramelly fragrance i feel like it works better in the fall and winter so now since it's like getting warm and getting hot outside if you wear something that's sweet it might be a little bit too much but jimmy chew and listen she, she's that girl like that's one of the first perfumes i bought and i actually have a second one of it which is funny because I was buying stuff for my birthday and I was telling my boyfriend and stuff that I wanted for my birthday. He, like, I bought myself that one. And he bought me the exact same one. So that's why I have two. But I'm glad I had two because that one smells a freaking amazing. And, like, for the price, and Jimmy Choo perfumes are actually pretty affordable. At least if you get them for, like, a discounted site like fragrance net because I shop on fragrance net so really good next thing I got is this hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and this has two percent hyaluronic acid and beef eye I actually have another bottle in my bathroom that I got from the Sephora sale that was last month and if I got another one, clearly I'm recommending it to you. I actually like it. The only thing is, I also have the one by the Inky List. And the one by the Inky List isn't as thick. So, if you feel like the one from the Ordinary is too thick on your face, it may be a little bit sticky. The one from the Inky List works just fine. It soaks into the skin really good. Did I actually use some this morning? I don't know. I might have. But anyway, I actually like the one from I like both. And I don't mind that that feels a little thicker on my face because I feel like my face just tends to feel dry. So, I actually appreciate the thickness. So, I actually recommend the Hyaluronic Acid from the Ordinary. I went down to the last few products. This is the As I Am moisture filter and as you can see this is pretty much damn near full and the only reason i'm getting rid of it i feel like y'all might not be able to see it but the product is like you might not be able to see it but the product is like separating like the oil is separating from like the cream and stuff like i've noticed that Y'all might not have seen my short, but I did a short about this because I was like, should I just like shake it up and keep it or should I just throw it away? Because I got this for like, I got this with the, um, like a smoothing gel or something from As I Am. And both of them was, both of them was on clearance. So I got this off the clearance rack at Walmart. So, I don't know if that has something to do with the quality of the product, but I kind of figured I only tried to use this once. I don't even know if I was able to really use it in my hair, but if I try to use it and the product's like literally separating when I try to use it, I don't know. It's, it's giving a red flag for me. I, I can't get down with this, so I really wanted to use this, but I can't because I'm scared. Like... If it's separating, like, I don't want to be putting old stuff on my head. You know what I'm saying? So, when I tr actually buy this, I would have to buy a fresh bottle that's now on clearance rack just to see if it's going to separate. So, I'm like, girl, if you're going to separate, I can't, I can't do it. So, no, man. So, next product 
And these are the last few products, so they like really like small. Next products are got these from Laneige, and this is the water sleeping mask and the water bank moisture cream. These are like the mini travel size. And I got these. They had like, you know when you go to Sephora and you able to get you like a little free birthday gift? These was in the little free birthday gift and it came with a mini lip lip sleeping mask. The lip sleeping mask, I felt like it felt good. But I feel like it ain't really worth the hype. Like it feels good, but you know when people tell me, oh my God, I wake up and I still feel it on my lips. Yeah, no. Like, it smelled good. It felt good. I don't know if it's because I'm a wild sleeper, but it's like I woke up, my lips still felt like it might have rubbed off, so no. But I like both of these. I feel like if I had to choose which one I like better, I feel like I like the water bait moisture cream a tad bit better. But I feel like both of them did their job. So, when I get these, the big size, I mean, maybe. But I might still just get a sample just to play around with it. And the last couple of items are these two Sally Hitson products. One is a vitamin E oil. This stuff might have rubbed off. And this is the nail hardener. The nail hardener, I got a new one because this one kind of dried out. Because my nails be feeling kind of weak and brittle. And the vitamin E oil, you can just use this like a cuticle oil. And I got another, I got another one of both of those. So yeah, because I like my nails being sometimes weak and they want to break. And girl, no. And you need a cuticle oil because sometimes your cuticle might like, try to split and do whatever. And that's not fun or comfortable. And the last product I have is this travel size our moth perfume. And this is Italiano Donna. And I think this is supposed to be a dupe of Dolce & Gabbana's The One Intense. One of them. I might stick a little thing on the side. This one smells really good. I think this has like a marshmallow note. It smells really good, really sweet. When I first tried it, I wasn't so sure if I liked it. But the more I kept spraying it and spraying it, I was like, okay, she's growing on me. So I really like her. You could wear this year round if you want to. I wore this more so in the fall than the winter. But she's really cute. And I think on fragrance net, I only saw this travel size. I didn't see the big bottle, but they might have the big bottle. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, that's all this stuff. Hopefully this video wasn't too dang on long. You know, I feel like I've been talking for like a good hour. But I had to get rid of all this stuff, make some space in my apartment, and get rid of all this trash. So if you try any of these products, let me know. Let me know if you like them, don't like them, what you think. If you have any suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see, comment, do all that good stuff. And it's Wednesday. I'm starving and I'm about to go eat. So until next time, bye.